Today was the first day of testimony in Jennifer Crumbly's trial. The mother of school shooting suspect Ethan Crumbly is accused of giving her son the gun and not doing enough to help his mental state, something she denies. As disturbing video was shown to jurors, she broke into tears, but prosecutors claim it was just an attempt to get sympathy. Raw emotion in court as the mother of school shooter Ethan Crumbly goes on trial. Jennifer Crumbly and her defense attorney wept while graphic, disturbing surveillance video was being shown. Prosecutors quickly accused them of trying to influence the jury with those displays of tears. To have not just the defendant, her lawyer sit there sobbing. So I, that, I did not I, sob. I just, I just, I was not sobbing. And this is horrific. This I've is never, horrific. I've never seen this before. It's okay. horrific. That's okay. why we asked the court not to play it. All my eye makeup is still on. I checked my camera. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not having I need to run to the bathroom. I need a break. Okay. Jennifer Crumbly was taken from the court in shackles while everyone took a timeout to calm down. Jennifer Crumbly's 15 year old son Ethan shot four students dead at Oxford High School near Detroit and wounded seven others in 2021. She's on trial for manslaughter because she and her husband gave their son the gun he used in the shooting and were allegedly aware of his troubled state of mind. In a bizarre twist, Ethan Crumbly has become he who must not be named. The judge ordered that he can only be referred to in court as the shooter or Jennifer Crumbly's son out of respect for the victim's families who don't want his name said out loud. But defense attorney Shannon Smith apparently forgot. Ethan Crumbly used a gun and terrorized the Oxford High School. Then forgot again. That evidence is about Ethan, I'm sorry, excuse me, about the shooter. This is the very first time in history that parents are being charged for killings committed by their child. Ethan Crumbly's father is being tried separately. His trial starts March 5th.